Right, hopefully you guys can hear me now. Let's let's see if you guys can hear me. Just shout out if you guys can actually hear me now. I don't know, I got myself a new controller and some of these settings is just horrible. Right, so Logan says, yeah, there we go. Right guys, so the purpose of tonight's video is to do an autopsy on, on Rugby 20. More or less com comparing it to of Rugby Challenge 4 so we'll go through the pros and cons of this game because I know a lot of people are complaining about Rugby Challenge 4 and we obviously know that a lot of people absolutely hated Rugby 20 so we're just going to go in depth on that just a little bit discussing what's right and what's wrong about it and how it compares to Rugby Challenge 4 and we're basically going to start off with the menu um, the menu of Rugby 20 was for me a really refreshing new look to to the game if you compare it to Rugby Challenge 4 which have the scroll down menu which is so old timeish um, Rugby a lot more modern um, it's just nice to scroll through the menu as you guys can see so let's just go and have a look at the option menu they didn't have too much um, to compare to match length um, which was basically the same as Rugby Challenge 4 you could choose between night, rainy day, rainy night yeah, day and night and all those which was quite nice when you actually played the game the, the players jerseys would get wet and dirty which for me was pretty good and then you could choose between amateur, semi-pro and pro which again is very similar to, to Rugby Challenge 4 um, I would say probably not um, hard enough maybe should have added an extra difficulty level to the game making it extreme or world class or something like that um, feel free to drop a comment on anything you guys thought was what's good about the the menu and all that sort of stuff and we can go and have a look in depth on that as well um, like I say I'm just this is just my personal opinion so you could put your not with without which was pretty fine same as rugby chance for your advantage was basically the same um, offside same um, you could choose your sound effects and everything your commentary level your sound effects and your music I'm just gonna turn that off because I've noticed there is some copy copyright restrictions on music in rugby chance 4 and I can't can't quite remember if it was the same with with rugby 20 um, so yeah those were basically the thing there the camera angles was quite nice in rugby chance 4 you could actually adjust which way you wanted it to go which I felt was, was cool um, comparing it to Rugby Challenge 4 where you've got the sideline camera and you've got your um, your behind camera and your top view camera so this was basically the same as that and then you had your intensity levels of the shake um, you had your away team and your home team and your with or without zoom on action so for me that was pretty pretty much um, not too bad um, you guys can always tell me what you guys thought of that um, going back you go to well credits we're not going to go through let's go a little bit in depth in the training mode again um, rugby challenge falls training mode gives you a few good options these these ones gave you a few good options as well something that was not very nice in training mode of rugby 20 was basically the way they they executed the set plays in training a lot of people struggled with that and i don't know if i was the only one that couldn't well i did complete it i just can't remember because you guys all know i've played this game to death um those first couple of months and yeah it was just Let's just go and see again how this worked. You could perform set play, 
after a ruck to complete a surpassable ride according to that so you basically would pass and then do whatever move they had for you i know a lot of people struggled with the set place i don't know anyone watching at the moment also had a problem with the set place i love the set place in in rugby challenge uh, in rugby 20 if you if you have to compare it with with rugby challenge 4 i think the set place was very good compared to to uh, rugby challenge 4 now feel free to to leave your thoughts on that this is just my just my two cents so it didn't give you all the set plays there that's the that was the problem with with the set plays um you could never oh dear that even got that wrong right but you could never do all the set plays um there's a hell lot of set plays and there you could see i was only able to do five of them so so yeah i won't bore you guys with the details of the training i just felt it was lacking quite a bit if you if you really had to go and do the stuff or train on the basic stuff so challenges they gave us each week a new challenge which was really crap for me uh, never challenging enough they have stopped doing that anyway so there's just nothing happening there at the moment now the price of rugby 20 have dropped quite a bit so if you guys haven't bought it and you are looking for alternative if you feel rugby challenge 4 is too expensive then rugby 20 is for well it's now almost half the price so do go out and check that this is what i loved about rugby 20 was the fact that you had this card management and uh, please tell me if i was wrong on that but this was the one area where they actually got it right and the only problem um, at the end of the day was that there was South Africa, New Zealand and, and uh, England that wasn't licensed in Australia, that wasn't licensed in this game. So you couldn't get those players. A lot of the South African players were available in this game. So I thought they got it quite nicely on, on the card management. I think I actually gave it a four out of a nine out of ten rating, just just on the card management um, analysis, way back um, in the day when I did that. So that was quite nice. You could do your your squat. As you guys could see I created my Springbok site, <coughs> and pretty pretty awesome. You had guys like Vincent Koch, Kuni Westhuizen, Etzebet. Um, Louis de Jager, Jacke Kriel, Jean de Duplessis, Art de Prie, um, Faf de Klerk, Andre Pollard, Combrun, Francois Stein, you had Sarah Fontaine, Chesden Colby, Damien Willemse, but it lacked in plenty of areas. Um, you couldn't, you could customize your team, but you, the customization, go to that. I know I'm jumping around a little bit at the moment but it's just doing a small little autopsy on on rugby 20 so they had the, the squad customization which you could basically choose your colors of your of your team which was nice but it wasn't in depth um if i had to give this a rating out of 10 i would probably give it a 4 out of 10 rating as far as your ability to to actually go and and customize your your shirts and your your team basically so that for me was pretty poor if you compare it to rugby challenge 4 we basically have the same um as far as the the jerseys go then probably rate it equal there um, we know that rugby chance 4 has got the fan up where you can actually go and create your players and and all that sort of stuff which was pretty nice then you had your solo mode where i just felt there wasn't enough options at the time um you could play 
few seasons as you guys can see I'm there in season 28 and it got so boring doing the same stuff over and over um, Regan asking hey guru are you alright yeah I'm very good thank you Regan um, how are you have you guys been watching um, the the European Challenge Cup and <coughs> the <coughs> sorry and the Heineken Cup and what are your thoughts on that so this was pretty lame I didn't enjoy the solo mode at all your leaks well let's just go out of that and start a new one oh come on right analog stick haven't played this game in ages now so you basically could the Pro 14, the Pro D2, Nations Trophy, Top 14 Gallagher Premiership and that was it so they did a good job with the licensing of these teams pity that they couldn't get hold of South Africa, New Zealand and Australia and England would have made it so much more interesting um, and probably worth buying if they had that option to to actually have all those licenses so hopefully with the next installment they will go one better um, in graphics, as you guys know I wasn't a big fan of the graphics in rugby 20 online mode absolutely sucked rugby challenge force online mode also sucks quite a bit the lag is it's better than rugby 20 obviously um, but still not the greatest so let's go and do a top 14 let's go and do the replay of Toulouse and Ulster I don't know who watched that game but it was pretty awesome the way Toulouse got rid of um, Ulster earlier today I, I was watching the game bits and pieces of it anyway and I must say I really I really enjoyed it quite a bit it was just so good to see Toulouse dominating the game at the end so uh, I need to change the difficulty levels here let's go to pro real quickly and we'll do a, a 10 minute match and obviously the light the the stadiums wasn't licensed here as well um, Regan says he watched a couple of the games um, sorry about the Scarlets uh, last night um, Regan I know you wanted them to win but at the end of the day Toulon was just too good for them so yeah let's let's get this underway and just go and have a look at a little bit of the gameplay comparing it to to rugby challenge for this there's some pros and cons here to to rugby 20 um, one thing that I could remember that was pretty poor was was the passing system was very flat and then also just a uh, well the gameplay was actually very free-flowing which was quite nice but at the end of the day the graphics of rugby 20 just for me didn't make it worth the while um, if you compare it to rugby Challenge, then looks like a PS2 versus PS4 game um, so yeah what I liked about the intro of rugby 20 was the fact that you could actually see the players run out of the 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 tunnel which was quite amazing I wish rugby Challenge 4 could do that Star Wars Gamer says hello there how's it Star Wars Gamer how are you doing yeah so this made it feel a little bit real you know where with rugby Challenge 4 the players also run onto the field but you don't get that cutscene I do like the new setup of rugby Challenge 4 when you look at the team lineups and stuff the way you have to go through it's a lot better although this system wasn't too bad for rugby 20 the intro was pretty good the fact that they showed the referee players running out from the tunnel that that for me made it feel real apart from the graphics that's so so PS2 
um, all gen um, Star Wars games is all good man how are you I'm absolutely great buddy so yeah let's hope I still remember how to play this game the kicking system in in rugby 20 for me was pretty good I I really enjoyed it um, another thing that I well I still need to get used to the buttons here the rucks was absolutely way too easy for me I never lost the ball which made it really irritating me I love the set plays just the fact that you could pick and choose all these different set plays made it really awesome um, let's go do this quickly just look at that most of the set plays played really well I know a lot of people struggled with it and for some reason it just came down to a timing thing as you guys can see most of the time the set plays don't come off that nicely because you actually have to be in a good position on the field so you couldn't just pull the set plays at one time Regan says yeah they played well they started well second Tulun just controlled the game yeah um, watching the game yesterday of Saracens and then looking at the game today of Toulouse I think it's gonna hard to it's gonna be hard to see any other finalists than than uh, the likes of Saracens versus Toulouse for for the big cup for the Heineken uh, Cup I think it's gonna be Saracens versus Toulouse in the final oh dear I can't remember how to to steal the rucks but I know it was a massive issue and you could steal almost every single ball of the AI so this could be quite interesting having a look or playing this game because I haven't done so in in quite a bit so it should be a little bit more difficult to play yeah Regan Colby hammered them yeah no Colby is one of those special players that comes around every 12 years or 10 years you know um, for one country how do you steal the the ruck again I oh dear just hands in the ruck the, all the time but I know this this was a massive issue if if you look at the scrum they really overcomplicated this guys I was not a fan of the ruck system or the scrum system in in rugby 20 it just took forever they had this mini game the whole time and the fact that you had to control it with your analog stick for it's so difficult to, to steal the ball um, or even control my own ball for that matter I just basically all I did was just try and get it out as quickly as possible um, Regan says yeah 100% Colby is a beast yeah he just made it look so easy today um, that little sidestep he did on uh, Stockdale was absolutely phenomenal but he really really made it look so bloody easy right so just going through this the tackle system the passing system was very flat the kicking like I said I really enjoyed some parts of the of the kicking not the grubber kick I really didn't enjoy it the pot system was pretty nice for but then you get loose passes like that which was just horrible and then the passing um, support play from from them was just really terrible as well I wish rugby challenge could have had the options at or for the set plays that that rugby 20 have because like I said to you guys I'm a really really big fan of this oh dear goodness well when it comes off it comes off very nicely but <laughs> if it doesn't it looks horrible you guys notice how flat the passing um, is in in rugby 20 
let's just go quickly change the set place up a bit um, I was a fan of the double loop the option to the wing then the springbok loop wasn't too bad and then the wide out option was pretty good um, what else was on dummy switch pop was also a very popular one let's do that dummy switch pop another thing that irritates me with rugby challenge for set place it's so computerized you hardly ever get it wrong where with rugby 20 you had to really get your timing correct there we go the first try 29 minutes in then the cutscenes for for rugby 20 was wasn't too bad you would get your players celebrating after the try and then it would do into the replay um, something that rugby challenge don't get right quite quite nicely the the goal kicking system I absolutely adored this goal kicking system because it actually made it a little bit harder to to actually get the kick over so if you if you have to, to choose between between the two kicking systems um, which one would you guys go for I would say I would go for for the rugby 20 um, kicking mechanics when it comes to goal kicking the tackling I also quite enjoy the fact that you had to to make your with your right analog stick um, it gave you that option of actually um, doing a dangerous tackle which was quite nice so the, the tonight what's going on guys it's Sunday night yeah in South Africa don't know what I know the UK is basically the same as as me but for those ones who's joining in from different countries the chat is very very quiet tonight what's going on I'm doing all the talking tonight guys yeah like I said I love the pot system in in rugby 20 um, it was just so much better let's just have another look how we used to you could choose your line with so you would make it out wide it's just oh dear and then where did you choose your oh uh, you could switch your sides I remember which was quite nice as well I wish they can bring that in to be a pro have you guys actually played be a pro and then notice that you can't choose which way they go they would choose their own way which would be nice if you had like a little option where you where you could actually um, change the direction at which they're going to run it and in that wild passes when you do the call for the pass where they actually skip like 10 players to pull out to you that's another thing that I probably would want uh, to have changed where you can have that option to let the ball actually go through the hands but the passing is very poor in rugby 20 it's just so flat I know you can you can do this then it doesn't look too bad but just look at the support run from from the back it's almost as if they're going backwards um, Shaq 15 says can't help but feel 20 rand as as more of a rugby yeah rugby 20 has more of a field than rugby challenge um, I have to be more tactical and just can't offload like crazy better base to build from yeah that that is that that I thought of as well because when you let me just get my light no don't want them to come in they should go back you had to play a lot more tactical because but the the passing system don't allow this because to be honest it's just really flat if you look at it this way oh yeah but definitely you can play a lot more tactical with this game and I really like some of the options 
which is really cool. Like this, for instance, this back pass, the forwards running through and then opening side. It's pretty cool. But there's just some really big issues with this. Like, for instance, you do this little um, grubber kick down field and you would score 90% of the time. Um, I don't know if you guys also had the same experience. Then Regan asks, who do you think is going to win the Champions Cup? Oh, it's tough. It's really, really tough, man. Um, any one of, well, I probably feel like Saracens will now be there. Um, the one team I have had a big look at is Exeter. Um, we all know they're the top team in, in England at the moment, but well, probably the best team. If you if you have a look at the way um, Wasps has been playing as of late, you would imagine that Wasps stands a very good chance of winning the English Premier League. But let's go back to the Champions Cup. I would probably say Saracens want it the most. Um, they actually look like a team on a mission. But... I think to lose the way they play today, they do a lot of loose passing at just the way French rugby is. They play a game with a lot of flair and it doesn't always come off. So if if Saracens can play that type of structure game and they do meet to lose in the final, I would probably go for Saracens to, to take the game. Oh, I love this little sidestep and then a uh, little goose step that you can do in Rugby 20. Where with Rugby Challenge forwards, just either the sidestep or the dummy or the fend. So, again, Rugby 20 there have a better option for me. Well, I haven't played this game for so long and it's still, I mean, I'm still managing to kick Ulster's butt on pro difficulty here. So, it just comes to show you again and that's the big issue I had with Rugby 20 was the fact that the AI was just too easy to play against and then obviously the decision making from the AI is really bad in this game. I love the little handoff in, well... There's a lot of stuff that I do like about Rugby 20. Especially the kicking system in Rugby 20 was also quite nice. It's free. Ah, and there's a little charge down. Something that you don't see in Rugby, Rugby Challenge 4. There's a little bit of support play there from Ramos. So that, that is actually a very good try that I just scored there. I think there's good little um, mixture of play there right the fact that the player was offside to begin with kind of shows you another bad thing of rugby 20 where the offside line from the kicking wasn't really up to standard and it's something that they probably need to look into in the next game um, they need to get that offside line correctly um, like I said the goal kicking system I really love because you can get it wrong or you can get it spot on. Um, maybe with a minor little tweaks and stuff, it would look even better or play it better. I like the little box kick where you can decide where to go to. Probably would have wanted to have added another option of a, of a, um, oh, you guys can see there again, another big mess up with the quick throw in system. Um, they got that completely wrong. But yeah, to get back to that little box kick, I would have loved to have an option where you could actually put an uh, up and under box kick. The ones that Wigglesworth did so well yesterday, where you would just put the top with that little box kick, but high up in the air. Um, Sportsfits HD says overall from what you've done which one do you think is better Rugby Chance or Rugby 20? I would still say Rugby Rugby Chance 4 is better than Rugby 20 but again it comes down to to what 
rugby 20 developers have achieved since since making rugby 18 which was really crap um, if you compare it to to rugby 20 you can see a vast improvement but if you if you have a look at rugby challenge and you compare rugby challenge 3 and you have a look at what they did for rugby challenge 4 then there's not so much improvement and and that kind of worries me a little bit because you can see that rugby rugby 20 developers have actually improved quite a bit so you could just think maybe their next installment could be even better and where with rugby challenge 4 you just got small little things that improved and doesn't make the game worth the price it is well not that rugby 20's price was any better but for the improvement shown I would say it was was a decent buy and the fact that they've had so many licenses made it a lot more appealing just really a pity that their graphics were so poor and some of the gameplay is not running smooth like the passing for instance like there you could get that sort of pass which is horrible um, Ashton Antoik is asking thoughts on Super Rugby AU I was gutted really to be honest I really wanted the Reds to to go out and win that game um, personally felt that they could do it they've they had so many good opportunities to win that game and they took it for granted really but on the end of the day the Brumbies probably was Australia's best team for, for the last couple of seasons so that then you'd probably say well deserved to them but it was a good final I didn't watch all of it but I watched the important parts of it and the Reds probably lucky on the one side that they didn't get a hiding at the end because it looked like at this stage the Brumbies was going to run away with it Regan says got to go Guru see you in another stream cool Regan thanks for joining in buddy it was fun uh, talking to you as well right so I keep wanting to do that little um, send right which is not working in this game keep thinking I've been playing too much rugby challenge as of late but yeah um, the autopsy for rugby 20 is not looking that bright guys especially when it comes to, to certain parts of the game um, I just personally feel that they're going to do so much better with if they could do another game if they improve on some slight little things that's not making this game so good at the moment they came out with a bang and then when COVID-19 stuck out its head the game just stopped developing and and it's really a pity that they just abandoned it like they did I think we got a, a a message from them the other day saying it was free to play last weekend or the week before on on Steam. So I don't know actually how many people actually played it, but yeah, this will probably be my last video on Rugby 20 for for a very long time to come. Sportsfits HD says the thing that makes me feel annoyed about Rugby 20 is the lack of licensed stadiums and the clucky players and the animations you be right um, the game itself the gameplay the tactics the the set plays all those stuff is really cool um, like I said I enjoyed the tactics part I enjoyed the chains the, the stuff that you could go and choose the parts the different chains the set plays differences was so really good um, let me go and show you guys real quickly what I'm talking about um, let's just use this one for instance you'd go to your tactics you go to your attacking set uh, tactics and you could choose 
and it actually shows you quite nicely what is going to happen in the game so you're going to see if you going with your wingers they're penetrating you could see if you put it wide it's going to look like this so you would have your full back close or far you could see your attacking chains the way you want to play it um, you could you've had so many options there if you compare it to rugby Jones 4 they've just got that same little scroll down screen and they don't really explain to to the players what's going on you know um, if I had no clue about rugby and I had to do my tactics be Jones 4 I would be totally totally lost you know um, let's do this keep it like that and then you could actually have a second option where you could actually be penetrating could keep him to that close and then had a classic and then on the fence again you had the option you would drift or you had a blitz or you had your classic so there was just so many nice options in in rugby 20 and they had a nice picture showing the newcomers exactly what was expected and then the same with the set place nice little breakdowns of how it looked like really really cool stuff and they had 21 set plays for the back line and like five set plays for the for, for the scrum and that's where i feel rugby chance for is lacking quite a bit right it was their first try at set plays but it feels like that's almost all that they did for the whole game you know so let's do uh let's go and do a saracens this is what i think is going to be the final we're going to have saracens oh probably need to change the kits so that's fine and then Ooh, yeah, that will be fine. It's on sale now for 60 23 on PS4 right now. Do you think it's worth my money to buy Rugby 20? Hmm. I, I bought it full price that time, so... And for me, I played the crap out of this game. It's It's a nice option to have if you... If you feel that Rugby Challenge 4 has become too easy or just... Because I'm at the point in Rugby Challenge 4, I'm doing Be A Pro at the moment. And uh, when I'm done with that, I've basically done everything there is to do for Rugby Challenge 4. So, I would say... Yeah, I mean, at a discount price, it's basically off. Yeah, sixty percent off. I would say buy it just if you if you want something different, because obviously there's plenty of different stuff you can do with Rugby Twenty um, Sports with HD. Like I say, it's a massive improvement from from Rugby Eighteen. It's just that again, the AI is ridiculously easy to play against. And the other thing with Rugby 20, it gives you that card system, which is, which could keep you busy for quite some time as you try and unlock new cards. Um, took me quite a while to get all the players until I found that little glitch in the game, um, which made it really easy to to get all the players that you want. So now you get your forge, you can run into... Oh, I got stolen. That didn't happen quite often, I must say. Oh, miles of sight. So, I think if they make a Rugby 21 or Rugby 22 or Rugby 23, I think they'll do a decent, they'll do a decent job. Another thing that's really irritating in Rugby 20 is the line-out system. Is the ultimate thing any good? Yeah, it wasn't bad, um, Sportswits HD. It was quite nice. The, the only thing that was, was lacking for me was the fact that you you didn't have that those top-class players like 
the Burden Barretts and who else was they basically all the New Zealanders and the Australian players is not there you know so it kind of puts a little damper on it but it was fun it kept me busy for for quite some time to get all the players that I wanted like I said um, well if I can ask you this what would be a reasonable lifespan considering 60% off how long would well, well how can I put this how long will you want to play it to say it was worth worth the money for you because but oh dear goodness I I personally got every cent back from from what I put into the game I played it from well, it came out in September last year, the betas. I played that until March this year. So I basically played the game for, for a period of six months. And for me to play a game for six months straight at, well, a thousand, well, it was what, how many, 40, 40 pounds, 50 pounds that time. So, for me, that is worth every penny or every cent I paid for it. Yeah, and you know, Ireland is fully licensed. You get, you can actually make your own Ireland team um, when you play solo mode. You can open up those players that you feel needs to be in the Ireland squad. So, you can do plenty of plenty of work with with the with the the card system the ultimate team system um, you'll get your your island team license in the game and you'll be able to create your own and put players in as you open up the cards or the booster packs as they call it in this and you'll be able to to go and create different island teams um, England all England's players are there as you open them up so that's pretty nice and the fact that you've got all the French players as well because you know there's a few really good England or France players in the rugby like Dupont, um, Tamak, those guys that's not in Rugby Chance 4 obviously you can go and create them but it doesn't give you that same um, same thing um, yeah, he's asking is there a spec system for for my squad? There is, there is a, a my pack, but I wouldn't recommend buying that because it costs like a lot of points because they're basically working with SP points here, so it costs a lot of SP points and then you get the same players or not the greatest players in a pack where you can buy a I think the other booster pack is like 30,000 SP points and you get four decent players. Something that annoyed me in that system was the fact that there was unlicensed players and they would be like some of your top rated players and you would pay like 30,000 SP points and if you don't have if you don't know how to do the glitch then SP points don't come around so easily. So if you say work your way up to 30,000 SP points and you go and buy a golden booster pack and you get like two unlicensed players and two licensed players, um, I got really angry when, when that used to happen to me. And towards the end of, of, the, of the time, I got it quite a lot because I basically opened every single player there is to open. So at the end of the day, I just yeah just stopped playing it because it wasn't worth it anymore. But definitely, I got every little cent I paid for this game. I got back, and and that's what you want at the end of the day. Play a game that that is worth it. How many stadiums are there in the game? This. It's quite a bit. I'll show you if you if you want to stick around f till the end of this game. I'll go and show you the stadiums. Obviously, there's not a single one licensed, 
but as you oh as you guys can see there it's pretty decent stadiums it's it looks pretty good um, but obviously not licensed imagine if you if you had a game where you can actually go and create your own stadiums and yeah that would so awesome if you can go ahead and like if there's a stadium of yours locally or provincially or internationally that's not in the game and you would want to go and replicate how it looks like how awesome would that be but obviously it's not in rugby 20 nor rugby chance 4 so that's just a, a dream of mine to have that in in a rugby game some other games have been blessed to have it in so hopefully one day we'll get it as well and then obviously there's no logo creator which would have been really awesome if you could actually go and create your own logo in rugby 20 would have solved so many of the unlicensed issues surrounding um, South Africa and in Australia for instance and then Another thing that's a little bit irritating in Rugby 20 is the fact that you can't edit your teams or your player or create your own player. That's something that they'll probably bring in to the next edition of the game. And hopefully the graphics and the players won't be so clunky. But yeah, overall a pretty nice game. You, Like I say, you can, you can choose to switch your site, you can choose your line depth. You can actually do quite a bit. Now coming to think of it, playing the game now after a long time, um, it's not that bad really. And if you're going to buy it at half price now, then I would say it's it's worth it. Oh dear goodness. Just takes a little while to get used to the poor graphics and and the passing system is a little bit poor but the rest makes up for it like i said a million times over i'm a really really big fan of this set play system um customization in rugby 20 was very disappointing i absolutely agree but then again if you if you look at it from well what did I want to say now sorry I was thinking between rugby challenge 4 and rugby 20 now the customization in rugby challenge 4 was actually pretty awesome we with the player creation creator and and stuff so they're a step ahead of of rugby 20 but the gameplay itself is not that terrible Oh, and you see the bugs are are quite a lot in the game as well. Um, is there a customization player logo teams? No, there's not. You can you can basically create your own uh, lo uh, your own kit. There's logos, but you can't go and create your own. Which uh, yeah, the options for that is not great. So if you're expecting to, to create your own logo and stuff, that will not be possible. You can choose from, from a few logos that they've made available. You can choose the color of your kit and that sort of stuff. But yeah, you can't go and create the All Blacks um, logo or the Springbok logo. Unfortunately not. Um, I want the gameplay of Rugby 20 with the extras. Ah of rugby chance for yeah that that would do for me you know the gameplay of rugby no on the other hand i kind of disagree with you because the gameplay is not 100 percent but if you have to take choose between the two um at the moment if you have to do a combination of the two the gameplay yes of rugby 20 is better than at some parts of of rugby challenge 4 and then obviously the extras in rugby challenge 4 is absolutely phenomenal if you compare it but they can do so much better they're not done yet i'm very sure of that um 
They was actually very lazy in in rugby challenge four. But if I have to choose from the gameplay options there is for rugby games, I would definitely choose rugby champions gameplay. I don't know how many of you guys have actually seen that. Yeah, the buttons is better. It's less it's less complicated than, than rugby challenge four. Obviously, I'm I'm an absolute hater of the pot system in in Rugby Challenge Four. I would definitely love to have the pot system of Rugby Twenty in this, because, um, yeah, I'm just not used to the buttons anymore. Need to sort. I think that you got two options there that you can choose from your presets. You can bring your forwards in. You can bash it up set it up for another phase not where with rugby challenge 4 you take one ball in and you lose possession you know that's really irritating with rugby 20 you can you can actually get to to set up a few phases work your way through build it up with the forwards then go through to the backs build your way up um can choose your line with like we said you can switch your sides obviously which side you want to go to oh, isolated there but you still managed to get the ball back and I appreciated that you need to bring in your forwards a little bit more let's play with our forwards a bit more you see you've got all these options which is quite nice sports with HD if you consider buying this but the fact that you could steal the AI's ball just made it really frustrating most of the times but you can control you can control it quite a bit in the rugby 20 career mode that isn't in rugby chance 4 in career mode basically nothing um, just the I'll go and show you let me finish this game up and go and show you real quickly regardless of the outcome of this game I just played a really poor game here let's just do this let's go and score a try real quickly there we go I'll go and show you what stuff is in rugby 20 career mode real quickly But I like I like the the fact that you have control over what you can do and can you cannot do. It's not like like I said with rugby challenge four where you go into one ruck and they they absolutely kill you and turn over the ball. And then I love this kicking system as well. It just needs a little bit refinement. But the fact that you have to use your right analog stick.